listen, if you like our vibes, you like the movement, like, subscribe, share, comment in the comment section, man. Hit the notification bell so you can keep up with everything that we got going on. And jump in the community tab, man, and vote. Vote as if your life depends on it, but it really doesn't, because I just want you to go up there and vote. So let's go up in the community tab and vote on all the topics that you see up there. Let us know if you are feeling them or not. What's going on, brothers? What's going on, Mr. Razor? What's going on, Demby? Demby, what's, hey, what's going on? Yeah, man, blessings, man. All is well, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's all good, man. So, um, I know I don't know if you haven't paying attention, but uh, day before yesterday, DJ Khaled uh announced that he'll be um producing some tracks on Bound to Kill his new album, Kings of Kingston. Um, I want to ask you, uh, what, what, what do you what do what do we expect? Do we expect some uh some bangers gonna be on it since DJ Khaled is gonna produce some stuff on it? Do we expect to see some uh, American artists on it? What what you think? What you think? Um. Uh, it's gonna take place, Mr. Razor. I, I think I, we should expect some bangers on it. You know, I think that uh, Khaled is, uh, you know, is going to be pushing this album. You know, I think Bunty's going to put out some of his best work. You know, because you know it's going to get that promotion that we always talk about that 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 it needs to to you know to circulate around the world. And and Khaled has that has that that push that he could give a Bounty Killer. Um, so I think that it will be good. I think there will some be there will be some American artists on it, um, you know, along with some pop music, uh, you know. So I think, yeah, I, I think it's a good look. I think that's what that's what the culture kind of needs right now is to, you know, a mixture of everything. You know, we're gonna get some of the raw bun to kill us, some mixtures, you know. So and we know he's well capable of doing that. So you know, my expectation for this album is very high. Okay. Yeah, I, I would I would say the same. You know, I think in 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 this time, uh Khaled have a major platform that 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 at least can get people to notice you, even if you know they don't keep following you. I think he has a platform that's big enough to get people to put their eyes on you. And I guess that's all you really need is for somebody to put eyes on you. You have to do the rest. Uh what 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 you expecting from this album, Demi? Are you expecting uh See some big collaborations, or are you just expecting uh something from uh the regular from Bounty Killer, uh, a couple couple of Jamaican artists, maybe one or two um songs for the dance hall and straight hardcore killer. What you expecting? Yeah, I'm I'm not expecting much. Um, I think that it's a good look. I think with Khaled, you know, doing this with Bounty Killer, I think that. It can help beef up his platform, which Bounty Killer is world we're known anyway. Um, I think Bounty Killer lyrics is always on point. I think Bounty Killer is really, you know, like well, everybody knows he's a, he's an icon. So, you know, his music was stunned. But we're in a pop kind popcorn environment. We're in an environment where catchy hooks and silly nonsense is is the wave. So I think good music will come of this. I think good music will come of this. Am I expecting anything major? No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not anticipating this being some bangers or this be some, some, some big time records where, you know, the music is gonna flourish as far as the media or this kind of millennial world is is concerned. I think there's gonna be a lot of collabs. I think the collabs gonna be very good. I think Bonticular is gonna do very good. But I'm not expecting much from this album. I think it's going to just be one of those albums where, okay, he did do this with DJ Khaled. Um, DJ Khaled's vision for for reggae music, I'm not with that. He should, but I'd rather Bounty Killer stick with the major producers back in Jamaica. You know what I mean? Let them work with his music and be Bounty Killer. But when you work with DJ Khaled, DJ Khaled, you know, I don't give DJ Khaled no credence when it comes to our music as far as reggae is concerned. No, DJ Khaled is not one of the prominent producers when it comes to Jamaican music. He put out good music, but, you know, Movado been with him <laughs> all this time, man. Movado can't get back right. Um, he had some guy on his thing, Jamaican guy, 
we used to work with Rick Cross and, and I'm going to call his name. I didn't make no sense, but um, he still ain't get, he didn't get him off the ground. Like Panamera. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, you know what I mean? Which you know this, like you, you follow this stuff. Man. I, I yeah. don't know if it's, I don't, I don't technically know if it's DJ Khaled fault or is it these guys fault for not performing up to standards that they get? Because I don't, you can take a, a what they say, you can take a horse to water, a donkey to water, but you can't make them drink. If I if I put you on the stage to to do your thing and your thing is just coming up short, I, I don't. How am I supposed to get blamed for that? You know, I don't think if I teach you how to do math and you go take a math test and didn't pay attention to what I was what I was teaching, you, or you get to the, the the test and you forget everything, or you decide to do it a different way. And you can't blame me for that. That's all. That's all on you. You know, I think the platform that he has given Movado and a lot of artists is it's it's up to you to to make the platform bigger. You remember, you remember back in the days when when Rockefeller had about 100 people on, on the on the roster, but only like seven or eight of them you was hearing about. So, you know, even Mr. Mr. Razor had a friend. Uh, what, is, what it was a rail. Yeah, I was on Rockefeller. And yeah. he just, you know, he didn't, he didn't blow. You know what I mean? He, he got the spotlight. They gave him, he got a chain. He got everything else when he just, I think it's up to you to make the things uh, happen, what needs to happen. I do also think that uh, DJ Khaled should put you in the right space for things to happen. But when Movado was on, was first signed to We The Best, he was on every album. All uh, he have so Movado probably have the most collaborations with rappers in the history of a dancehall artist. I'm not even going to say probably. It's that's a fact. Yeah. It, nobody performed with more um, hip hop artists than Movado. Movado have songs that what that sometimes when I go back and listen to some old songs, I'm like, what? I even remember that this was you know this was a capable song. But to be honest with you, I'm expecting a lot from this album. I think that um, Killer has been working on this album for a while. I think that um, putting, I know Damian Marley was supposed to be the original producer, so I know he's still producing on it. But I think putting um, DJ Khaled on it could get you some recognition. Little, it, not, not even, not, I, don't, I wouldn't say that because uh, Bone Tequila is the one that gave DJ Khaled recognition. I think it would give, yeah. give him more credence with hip hop artists to have bigger collabor. I think. Uh, a DJ Khaled can give Bounty Killer a little baby, a uh, the baby, you know, um, Twenty One Savage, people like that. I think he, I think he can put him in the the atmosphere to have those type of people on the album, to maybe have a crossover hit here, or maybe just have uh, American eyes on a reggae project, for you know, on on a big level. Uh, DJ Khaled got millions of followers on on his um on his his, his, his platforms, his social media platforms and, and the stuff that he does. So I think that, that when I, when I, what I'm expecting for this album when it comes to songs, I, I'm, I'm expecting, like Mr. Ray said, I'm expecting a lot. I'm expecting some big time collabs. I'm expecting, I'm expecting him to collab with the artists from Jamaica. I've heard a snippet of a song with him and, um, him and Busy Signal. That I like. I heard some snippets of of different, different, different songs that's going around that I, that I think is. And plus, Bounty Killer is, is is bar none my favorite artist. So I'm you know I'm always looking forward to hear when I have a, what, what my favorite artist has to has to put out. So I'm I'm looking for I'm looking for a lot. To be honest with you, I'm not gonna. Lie. I'm looking for I'm looking for this album to create some noise i know it's a reggae album and it won't create as much noise as we would want it to create but maybe with the dj Khaled, maybe to put him in a place of 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 being big and to play off denby's um saying maybe it won't because popcorn have the biggest rap star the biggest pop star in his corner and barely moving units but again popcorn is not uh a legendary icon so I guess we'll wait and see what happens. And hopefully we get some great music out of this. Hopefully we get to uh, see a different side of killer when it comes to these music. And hopefully we get to, to see at least another song from us on the Billboard charts. 
that when we go back in the club, when it plays, we already know, yeah, we know that we're going to get, you know, hopefully we get something like that out of this album. Yeah. You know? So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Get you like saying, fin- get like I finally get a Grammy. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's how we know you don't do your homework. Or kill <laughs> no, man, I joke. I joke, man. man. <laughs> uh, I, I went. I went. His fans hear this in the. Uh, this is Mr. Race. Yeah, you see how y'all dismantle them being the last thing. Do the same thing to this. This. Thing. <laughs> but yeah, man. So we're expecting great from. We're expecting great things from from this album. I'm. I'm always expecting great things from any reggae artist, whether it's Alkaline, Vibes Cartel. Um, popcorn. I'm always expecting my artists to win because I'm a Jamaican. I'm patriotic about my country. I'm, I love my music and I always want it to blow. I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter to me which artist it is. Every time an artist comes up to bat, I'm always rooting for them to be successful. I'm always rooting for them to cross over so I can say, ha, here we go again with another big, with another reggae hit. So hopefully, Killer can do this. Hopefully, Alkaline coming with an album. Hopefully, he can do that also. You know what I'm saying? Thing goes podcast, man. I'm here with my brothers, Mr. Razor. I'm here with Demby. People, if you like the vibes, man, if you like our movement, like, subscribe, share, comment in the comment section, man. Hit the notification bell so you can keep up with everything that we got going on. And jump in the community tab and vote. Vote, 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 vote. Man, I enjoyed this conversation, man. We out of here.